This enormous dog was so mad at his mom and his reaction to her apology was beyond words When B Fisher did something to upset her Newfoundland Ralphie the giant pooch made sure she knew of his displeasure In fact his expressive eyes and icy demeanor made it plain that he wasn't all that impressed with her That was soon to change though. It just needed his owner to apologize. That's all Back in 2014 B Fisher and her husband Joshua thought a pet would be a good addition to the family the couple from Long Beach, California reckoned something to keep their kids Lennox Cruz and Tegan company would be a grand idea Joshua initially thought a horse would be a good option But the couple then changed their minds and settled on a dog the only question was what breed should they go for a Little bit of fact-finding revealed that Newfoundland's had a solid reputation for being especially good with children Based on this they agreed to adopt Ralphie a one-year-old Newfoundland pup However, when they went to collect their new pooch Joshua and B got a bit of a surprise Perhaps the information they'd found didn't include details on the size Newfoundland's grew to or maybe the couple just neglected to read that part Whatever it was B said they were stunned at how enormous the dogs were It didn't stop them taking their new pet home with them though and at first the couple just thought it was funny We didn't realize how big they were in person until we went to get Ralphie from the breeders B said when we first saw the older dogs we were shocked and we were laughing the couple could be forgiven for their reaction given Newfoundland's can weigh more than 126 pounds and grow to be six feet long as The name implies the type of dog B and Josh had plumped for originally hails from Newfoundland Canada Bred to be working dogs They were used to collecting fish nets and so needed to be muscular in order to swim long distances Moreover the dogs thick coats served to keep them warm well in the water and as we found out the breed grows to be enormous However, the bulky heft of the family's newest addition didn't seem to unduly concern the fishers Indeed so enamored were they of Ralphie that the couple soon decided to get a second Newfoundland Ralphie was this fluffy teddy bear and now he's grown. He's not as giant as some can be B told the Daily Mail Joshua wanted another and somehow convinced me as a result in 2015 the couple added one-year-old boss to the clan and just 12 months later boss was already tipping the scales at 165 pounds a full 35 more than his furry pal Ralphie Despite their size though B told the Metro that the dogs were great with the kids and the boys loved them to pieces The kids are fascinated by their size she said the oldest Lennox likes to relax with them and lie on them Cruz wants to play with them. They let him poke and prod Husband Joshua is also a big fan to the extent that the couple regularly take the dogs with them on family outings They're sweet and loving it shows in our photo. They truly are lap dogs Joshua said they're gentle giants and we can take them anywhere and it seems the dogs somewhat cumbersome appearance hasn't impacted the family's home life too much In fact B and Josh claim that the family home is actually quite modest in size Despite having three growing children and two oversized pooches. It seems space is not at a premium Furthermore the hounds help out by behaving themselves something B and Joshua put down to the dogs for being properly trained Perhaps unsurprisingly the family and especially Ralphie and boss have become something of an internet phenomenon This is due to the Fishers posting updates of the dogs interactions with their kids on the family's Instagram and Incredibly they now have more than 204,000 followers According to Joshua though this can sometimes be a bit of a hindrance That's because he claims the clan's mini VIP status makes life more difficult when the family goes out with the dogs It's like they're celebrities Joshua told the Metro Everyone wants a photo or to pet them and we have crowds of people you can't do anything when you're in a rush Meanwhile one recent video published on the Fisher's rumble page shows their dog Ralphie looking decidedly unimpressed with something B Fisher's done in fact, no matter how much B tries to get Ralphie to interact with her, nothing seems to appease him. In the video, B Fisher notices the dog looking a bit haughty and distant. So she engages with him and can be heard asking the dog, What's up? Are you mad at me? She inquires. Did I do something to you? Why are you looking at me like that? B carries on talking to the dog, but Ralphie remains unmoved. Ralphie, are you mad at Mama? She goes on. Are you not even going to look at me? It seems that's exactly what Ralphie plans to do as the peaked pooch resolutely continues to ignore her and doesn't even glance in her direction In fact, the Newfoundland doesn't shift his gaze until B starts to apologize to him 
Frosty atmosphere at last beginning to thaw B then alters the pitch of her voice. I'm sorry. I'm sorry She says to Ralphie in a soothing tone Perhaps recognizing the shift in mood Ralphie's facial expression softens as B says are you going to give me a kiss? Do you forgive me? It immediately becomes apparent that Ralphie has indeed let bygones be bygones as he climbs up into B's lap and nuzzles her face with the dog's tail now wagging freely, B can then be seen giving Ralphie a massive hug as the humongous hound engulfs her on the sofa. Whether or not B was covered in doggy drool after the canine encounter was not clear. What is evident, though, is husband Joshua's dislike of this one particular side effect. They slobber on work clothes. They shake their heads and it goes flying everywhere, he revealed. We have to keep emergency towels around the house. And the house isn't the only place B and Joshua will need those towels if their Instagram is anything to go by Because it seems the family is currently away from home on a year-long road trip So expect the photos and videos and the drool to continue Life is full of craze and joy they wrote and now we're loading all these boys and bears up to hit the road for a year enjoy the show